went to the shoe hospital off of South Shepherd. And so, because there's traffic out there, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to go um, another way to get home. And so on my way home, I said, let me just kind of go through my old neighborhood. This is where, kind of like where I grew up, just to kind of drive and see if anything's changed. And uh, a lot has changed the environment there's a lot of new buildings up out here. And then there's some things that are still the same. I remember these old apartments here. But yeah. I remember me and my friends getting into this club that's that was like right here where it's blocked out right here. It's just a big club there. We were like 15 years old getting into a club, drinking and smoking and doing whatever we wanted to do. These are these apartments. Got a, has a lot of history in those apartments. Yeah, just thought I would uh, come down here and see how it looks. And all I can say is God is good. He's been really good to me because I grew up in the bottoms. Poverty, drugs, everything you could even think of was around us. I made it so I'm praising God right now but yeah this is where I'm from this area town right here this motivated my book get those forgotten daughters I'm just gonna turn around and get my behind out of here but sometimes you have to get go back and reflect back where you come from just so you can appreciate where you're headed uh, or how far God has brought you. So that's what this little drive's about. And y'all just don't know I'm praising God because I didn't have to make it out of the ghettos. Not just necessarily the um, the the neighborhood itself, but the ghettos of my mind, my heart, and my spirit. Coming from the hood, coming from poverty, coming from abuse drug abuse anything you can name and now god has blessed me to do so much with my life so i'm truly truly grateful and thankful to god but yeah sometimes just drive back through you know it don't necessarily have to be um um area of town it could be a situation revisit it sometimes and see where you are and then praise god that you're no longer there don't always just get out of things happening to you look at this they had $25,000 reward they showed somebody's picture on the darn fence over there um sorry <laughs> but um sometimes you gotta revisit it just to be thankful to God for where he brought you from I'm trying to see if I remember this alley where me and my my family lived and I think that was it that was the alley there Yeah, but uh, we grew up over here. There was a place called, this is Haygood and Whitney. But there was uh, these row houses over here called Hardball Alley. You wouldn't know it unless you lived out here. But that's where a lot of bad stuff happened. Okay, that's enough of my little story. But I just, sometimes I just say, you know, sometimes we got to go back and revisit some of the things that we've been through. Look, this church is, st is still here. I ate there on many days. Church is chicken. Cross Timbers in Whitney. Uh, just so you can count your blessings of where you where you are now or how God has b far brought you, you know? You gotta go back and revisit the past just a little bit. Don't stay there too long. Cause you know, you're no longer uh, welcome there. You're, you've changed, you're a different person. God has brought you out. So you don't want to stay there. Revisit it. Remember it. Grieve it. Do whatever you got to do. Let it go and move forward and just thank God that you've made progress. Okay, you guys. Be blessed. Thought I would share.